Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you another technique on how to do a vertical ombre using a brush and also feature Luxa Polish white chrome. So if you want to find out more, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm just going to get started and jump right in. I'm going to do an ombre using white and black, which is very hard to do because they are two opposite colors and you see every little imperfection. So you can do this with any color you want, whatever it is, start with your lightest color first. So apply your lightest color first and then apply your darker color next. Make sure your coats are nice and thin so you do not have any drag lines or unevenness. I am using this brush, nail art brush, no special brush, but just it's thin, not as thin as a striping brush, but you can see kind of in comparison to the nail. And it is dry. And I just drag down the two colors so they can kind of blend together. And you just kind of keep dragging till everything looks good. And I do take off any excess, I will wipe that off on a lip free pad and then do some more blending. So I do have a couple other videos out on how to ombre. There is the sponge technique, so you can check that out here. And I have another horizontal ombre using a brush and alcohol. That's another way you can do it. So find a way that works for you. All of these methods are great methods. There's no right or wrong. You just try to find out what works best for you. So after you're happy with your first layer, you cure that, and now we are doing our second layer. You can, I mean, sometimes you can do three layers if you feel like your ombre is not exactly how you want it. You definitely can do th three layers. So I'm just doing two because it's gonna, I'm going to get it pretty good, you know, pretty solid. So that's just my little pad that I'm wiping my brush off with. And I like to flatten my brush out flat so it makes it easier for me to drag the polish down and do my blending. So once you are happy, you have cured your final ombre layer, then you're gonna top coat with Luxa Shine. And now I'm gonna show you this really cool powder. It's white chrome from Luxa Polish. And this is gonna give any color a pearl effect. It doesn't have any other like color shifting in it. This is just like a white chrome. So I'm wiping the nail with isopropyl alcohol, and yes, the top coat is a no wipe top coat, but as no wipe top coats cool down, pigments tend to not stick as evenly. So that's why I always wipe with alcohol prior to putting on my any of my pigments. So you can see I didn't have any issues with the pigment sticking on or anything like that. So this effect is super cool, very rad, I love it. It gives the black like this steel gray color. It gives the white that pearl look. It's really awesome, I, I love this. And then I'm using one of those little makeup sponges to wipe off any excess. And to give yourself more protection over chromes, cause that has been the number one question always, how do you keep your chromes from not chipping? This is what we do that has given us great results. After you are done doing your chrome application, we use Luxa Base, which is a gel base coat. We also use this to apply rhinestones. And you can check out the video uh, somewhere around this page, I'll post it. And it's awesome for having rhinestones stick on for at least two weeks, three weeks, even four weeks. So anyways, back to this nail. After you do your chrome, you will top, uh, you will apply Luxa Base. And this base coat won't make your nails shiny or sparkly. So as you can see, this is 
been cured already and it is not sparkly. It doesn't have that glittery look. It doesn't look like brushed metal. It's pretty reflective. So it will have a sticky layer afterwards. This is when you will apply your Luxa Shine No Wipe Top Coat for that final layer, super high shine, great protection, coverage, all that. We've had great success using it this way. So you guys can try that out and let me know how it works for you guys. So once you're done top coating with Luxa Shine, then you will cure in your lamp. And this is super fun. I love this. This kind of reminds me of like New Year's Eve, if you were to throw some gold in there and some, you know, striping tape and some bling and super pretty. I love this. And I will show you another nail that I did prior. Two different colors. So one is a teal color and the other is a coral color. And it kind of blends into like a purpley muted purple tone. So you can do any other color out there. Um, if you want to know more about what colors I use, I will put all the info in the description box below so you guys can check that out. And then I'm also going to show you guys these three swatches with the white chrome. So black, white, and that bright coral color. I mean, that white chrome could be put on top of any color and make it look amazing. So there you have it. Go check out the site if you guys want any of these products. And Thank you for watching guys. I truly appreciate it. I know I have been MIA and I'm just trying to get back to doing more YouTube videos because this is, I enjoy it. I love hearing your guys' feedback. So till next time. Bye guys.